Hey everybody, so I am in New York for Generation Beauty. We had gone yesterday, today's day two, we are skipping. We are actually taking this whole entire day to film videos for you guys. So anything that is already uploaded will be linked below as usual. This is Andrew, you guys know who he is, right? For all of you guys who are newer to my channel, <laughs> this is my mom. <laughs> and I refer to Andrew, and you guys are like, who's Andrew? And if there is an Andrew, why is she dating? <laughs> this is Andrew. <laughs> Um, We're in an open relationship. Very open. Mm, very open. So, in one of the more recent vlogs, I asked you guys to leave questions either on the Instagram post or below the video for a dating Q&A. And we have your questions. I thought even if we got one question, that's like more than enough because if you guys watch my vlogs, tangents, they're easy to go on. So, we have some questions. Oh, first of all, I have to share this. I haven't shared this with Andrew yet. I'm gonna share this. Oh yeah, I didn't want to hear it yet. I was like, I have, I wanted to share this Tinder conversation with him. He's like, mm -mm. he's like, we'll save it. So it's so ridiculous. Okay, so how do you want? Do you want to be the guy, or should I just read it to you? Okay, you can read it to me. Okay, so I guess he's gonna comment, commentate. Is your air conditioning like this? You, you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, so I matched with this guy, and he, he, his opening line was, "Have you ever done any sports? How tall are you?" There was no greeting, there was so no... Random. Usually guys lead with a compliment. Right. That, that goes over pretty well, even though it's generic. So I like responded and I said, you know, I took karate until whatever age and I told him how tall I was. But you're actually thinking like, why are you asking well, yeah, why, this? It's like, like so peculiar. I get, this could be a third question. Right, it's right, not right, your right, opening right. line. Right. Okay, so then he's like, what's your Instagram page? I'm like, you first. Okay, and let me back backtrack. The reason I say this is his profile, he explicitly says, on a side note, I can prove that I look exactly like these pictures on a webcam on Skype. And no, I don't want to watch your webcam in return. So he's basically saying, I'll prove my identity to you and you don't have to do it. But he does want to watch your webcam in return. Right, exactly. So that's why when he asked for my Instagram page, I was like, well, you first. Like, because he's already being rude. Like, I'm already just, I'm literally right. entertaining it for entertainment purposes. He's being very demanding. Yeah. I was like, you first. He's like, what's your Skype then? I was like, I don't have one. And then I, I, I said, I'm like, maybe I'm confused. And I like screenshot it or whatever, like copy and pasted like what he said about how he's very willing to show you that he looks this way and he is this way. And I was like, I have no problem providing my Instagram. Do you not have one? So, this is where it gets pretty insulting. He's like, don't take this as an insult. And you know when anyone ever leads with, don't take it as an insult, or like, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, or like, you know how people are like that? You know something, some, some diss is coming your way. I'm like reading the conversation. He's like, don't take this as an insult, but I don't know if you're transgender or not at this point. <laughs> I've seen so many that look like they are female, so I'm confused. <laughs> Do you have a Skype? Just get one. He's confused by our entire ethnicity. <laughs> so my response... Just get one? He said just get one? Yeah, just get one. Like, That's clearly so I need to bend over backwards for this person. And here's Literally. the thing. I have done... <laughs> there have she been... She will. There, were, there are a lot of... It's like surprising to me how... Guys must be getting catfished a lot. That's my guess. Because like some mm -hmm. of them really, really want to have like an Instagram or Facebook, or they want like an immediate mm -hmm. selfie. Like mm -hmm. they must. I kind of feel bad for them. Like they, there has to be a reason. Because not because right. most guys really are kind of like, do you have a Facebook? Do you have an Instagram? Right. Like they really want to know. So after he tells me, uh, he, you know, that he thinks I'm transgender and he's confused and it's all about him. I was like, I'm not insulted. I'm laughing pretty hard. I'm like, I'm sorry about whatever experiences that <laughs> led to so much confusion. You're so empathetic. I'm like, but you're being demanding without offering anything in return. So I give him my Instagram. Kind of, you know, you know how like you, you know, you put a deposit down on a house, like you know, in good faith. Like here's this. Now it's your turn. You know what I'm saying? Then he's like, what's your number? <laughs> he's. <laughs> It's like all, I was like, no, seriously, no. I'm like, you provide an Instagram, a Facebook, something. His response is, I still think you're a guy. Oh my God. How can you prove to me that you're not? There are too many transgender Is this a here. roundabout way to see your vagina? That's what I was like. <laughs> it's like very roundabout. But, yeah, please insult me and then I will send you a picture of my vagina. <laughs> So I was like, if you've had so many trans encounters, I'm sure you figured out a way to determine what's what. I'm like, I don't have to prove anything to you. I gave you my Instagram, which is linked to videos, which in return, you've provided nothing. 
you could be an albino orangutan for all I know. <laughs> I'm like, if you're messing with me for shits and giggles, this is definitely entertaining. Oh so God. he didn't respond after this, and it was just like, oh my God. What would you do if you had a conversation like this? If the, if the guy was just like, Oh my god, I would have been like, fuck you. I'm not even yeah. entertaining this. This is like a joke. Yeah. Oh, well, obviously, I was never going to meet this person. Right. I was never going to give them my number. But like, right. it was just like, I wanted to see how ridiculous it would get. Like, I, have to, I mentioned this in vlogs before. Like, I just sometimes entertain certain things without really putting myself out there just mm -hmm. to see how weird people are. Anyway, okay. Well, I mean, that's, that goes with like the first tip of like online dating is you don't take it personal. Right. Like, I think a lot of people take it very personally, like, oh, this person is, isn't into me, what have you. Clearly, no. this person is very uh, assertive, aggressive, <laughs> we can say, has had a bad experience in the past. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, that's, that's evident. He must have been catfished. The idea that he keeps running into transsexuals. I mean, clearly maybe he, has he a likes taste. a certain yeah, look. Yeah, maybe he I needs mean, to open. He needs to open his eyes to that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. And as Asians, we understand because yeah. our our features are quite fluid. Right, very androgynous. They That's can go, part you of know. The but it's fine. But like, how right, with like, like full feet on my face. We haven't even met yet. Right. And this initial conversation is like tension filled. Right. And like, I don't like any kind of tension unless it's unless it's sexual. So I'm like. <laughs> I'm not, this is yeah. not happening. Clearly, Sexual tension only. Right, clearly he has like social Right, okay. Delay or so I have some pit, uh, screenshots of. Oh God, I, like, oh, I was gonna say, I like that shirtless screenshot I just saw there. But go on. Yes. Continue. Yeah, on a side note, guys in New York City, so hot. I can't, guys. I would get. I would get sucked into like this model vortex because there's so She's literally talking to so many models right now. There's so many beautiful men here and they like me and I'm so confused. I'm like, did you accidentally like why are we matching? Like I'm because like I said, when I travel it's like for, for fun. Like I'm not really you know, you just go on there just to see who likes you or like what's available. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Like every time someone, I'll show Andrew and I'm like, isn't he beautiful? <laughs> and they're normal. They seem normal. <laughs> they seem like not weird people, not like that weird whatever guy. Okay. Mm. I used to always say I would forget how good looking people were until I would go into Manhattan. Like there are very, very good looking people in Manhattan. <gasps> Hotties everywhere. Okay. So. All right, here's a question. I don't know, do, do I, do you guys want- Oh, do you want me to ask you the question? So I, I figured a lot of these questions uh, are gonna be directed to Jen. So I figured that I could be your voice and I could just ah, read yes, them, yes, okay? Yes. So this is from Zoe Wolfchild. Cool name. Do you use any dating apps to meet men? There are many questions, we'll start with this. Do you mm -hmm. use any dating apps to meet men? Currently, Tinder and Bumble. And the only difference is that on Bumble, the girl has to message first, and from there on out, I feel like it's pretty much the same. Although, there's something about, I think it's like, the interface of Bumble, like, everyone's pictures look better. <laughs> Didn't you really notice that when I was talking about this? Don't the pictures just look... Supposedly, I mean, this is something I had heard as well, that the men on Bumble are just more attractive, but I don't know, it's, that's what I've... I can't imagine that's the case. I don't know how they would choose that or how that would come to be, but that's what I've heard. I think, it, I think it's true. Overall, I mean, I guess, like, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but... There is a universal mm -hmm. look. Excuse me. Okay, do we have another question? Okay, yeah. Sorry, Malash. <laughs> um, how about the old... Oh, sorry. I stutter. How about the old-fashioned way? Meaning, like, have you met anyone the old-fashioned way? People don't approach me in real life. I feel like if they're... If I tried that, it would be fruitless. Like I don't even know how. Like if I like eliminated like dating us, I don't know how I'd meet people. Like I go out like with my friends and we we go out to eat or whatever. But like I'm very rarely actually approach my normal people. It'll be like you guys. I did a vlog once. I think I shared. With, I was like Aldi. This guy's in a wheelchair and following me around. Like that's not my idea of getting hit on. Like I'm not going anywhere. Like thank you, but keep on. I like I just left because I was I felt so weird. That's very. Strange. Or it's like. Or it's like, you know when you blatantly, like as a female, you get that feeling, like you blatantly know this person is creepy. So if like someone's in like a grocery store and they approach me, or like if I've noticed them following me for the past few aisles. Oh and my God, that's so weird. And you have a hoodie on and then all of a sudden you appear out of nowhere reaching for something for me that I did not ask for. Like, it's things like this. So like old fashioned way, I don't get approached by people. I mean, maybe it's my city. Mm. Do you feel like guys here are like, I couldn't say. People? I couldn't say. I don't know. Mm. I just... So I would love to try the old-fashioned way. Trust me, every time, I would love to remove the apps from my phone. I would love to. Next question, how about flirting? Would you consider yourself good at it? 
I don't know. You would have to ask people that I flirt with. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm clever. Clever. I think I. I don't know. I won't. I won't. I don't think I'll come across stupid. Like you can't. Like uh, I don't know. She's definitely not like. You're definitely not someone who's like gonna kiss their ass. No, I'm not complimentary. Just in general, as yeah. a person, it has nothing to do with like me dating and thinking like I'm better or like I want to play hard to get. Right. I'm just not generally like, oh my god, you're so hot. Yeah. I love this. Like, oh my god, you love baseball. Like I love baseball. Yeah. No. Oh my god, I'm not meaning to imitate anyone. If you do that, that's fine. But. Um, can you go back? In? If you really love baseball. <laughs> if you love baseball, exactly. yeah, basically. Um, I know you were once married to an Indian man, and now I'm guessing you're only dating white men. Do you date Asian or any other race? Have you given? Oh, and then have you given any thought to dating women, perhaps? That women, was, uh, women. I here's the thing: for my attraction to women is limited to like I think they're really beautiful, and I might want to smell them and touch their boobs, but like it's not beyond. Like I don't want to. I'm not sexually attracted to women, mm -hmm. so obviously, so you need that element. Um, as far as, girl, you're good. Like I don't know how you sense that I'm like tend to be dating white men, but that is what I'm dating. And it's not that I have a racial preference. Like I feel like in, when I was younger, like in my 20s, I had like a physical preference that was more like I liked tan skin. I liked guys to be just a shade or two darker than me, and they were it. You know, mm -hmm. I just there's something about being pale, paler than me that I wasn't like attracted to. Mm -hmm. But now, it's pretty much it's open. I mean, her type is. Over six foot. Mm -hmm. Six foot minimum. Sorry. Which is so over six foot means you can't be six foot. You have to be six one at least. No, you can't uh, be six foot. <laughs> you, oh my god, we can use the wedges. We can be received oh in gem beauty. So you have to, like so six foot. So she so okay. This is something that I, I just tend to always. Okay. Say. Jen is smaller in person than you expect her to be. So she's like five foot, like less. But she likes a big man. You have to be at least six foot. Towering over her, and you, your body mass, like your your width, has to also be like big enough to. I don't even know. I like, I explain it like if we're hugging or like if you're like you she know. Wants to be completely encased. I, in I should a man. be able to really see past your shoulder. The knee was too small for my preference because like mm. you know all females like this is my mm. assumption is that you like to feel small. Mm. And I don't know what I mean. I'm like five one, and mm. I know I'm not like a, like a large being, but mm. like it's just everyone has their preference. Like yeah. I remember telling my brother this, and he's like, he's like, you're the kind of girl that other girls would like stay in your lane because they're tall and they need those tall guys. Oh. And I and like obviously I could like you know, yeah. Yeah. but you know if you like what you like. Yeah, that's so, true. You like what you like. Yeah, and, and then obviously like you said, I was date, I was married to an Indian guy, so. Not even I don't even know how to explain, but like for all intents and purposes, I tend to like stay away from that. Not that I'm like fearful of being like the girl that's only into like Indian men, because it's not the case at all. But like I don't know, just I think it might also be a product of where you are. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, product of where I am. Also, I feel like after being in that environment where like culture was a big deal, religion was a big deal, how to raise your children, family, like there was just so much involved that I feel like. As an Asian American dating here, white guys come with a lot less of that stuff mm. overall. I'm, I'm, I know I'm generalizing. I would hope that anything that I say is pretty generalized and based on my experience. Mm. So I guess that's how I would answer that question. Andrew, mm. do you want to answer any of these questions? I don't. Do you have racial preference? <laughs> you, I do have racial preference. Sure well. does. <laughs> does. Um, I don't know. It's like. <sighs> I hate to say that because it's so different. The gay community, like, it, this is probably, I, I think if you're asking Jen questions, like, you're not really interested in this, but, like, the gay community dating and, and like, meeting guys is so different. It's very, like, racial. It's very racial. Um, so interesting. It's very, it's very, like, yeah, and it's uh, it's definitely controversial as well. Um, but I think I embrace that everyone has their preferences. I, I am kind of similar to Jen. I like dark features. Mm. As well, I personally, like, I'm 5'8", I like guys who are my height, I'm not necessarily more attracted to someone because of their height, um, but again, I'm, we're, like, totally different, and, uh, but I think it's, it's acceptable to have your preferences, it's just, you, you have know, to. yeah, you have your preferences, it's just the issue with, like, dating on apps and what have you, and things that have come up in the past, like, historically, is when people would say, like, into, like, white, like, you know, very, very, I don't know how to say it. well, it's see, just very offensive was, when you when push it out was, on someone when else. He was, I was asking him a lot of questions because I was curious about how it is to date mm -hmm. as a gay guy. And sometimes he would say things and without me asking, like, it would something would spark my interest. It would, because for 
I don't know, from what I've seen from dating on these apps, people mm-hmm. aren't like, I like black guys. Mm-hmm. I prefer this, I prefer that. But they used to be. On Grindr, really? on Grindr, they used to, like, I think a lot, on a lot of gay apps, that's how it is started. Like, people would definitely be a little more transparent in that way. Specific. And now we've gotten a little bit more PC, which I think is a good thing because but racial preference is still more obvious on gay dating apps definitely oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. when he was I mean, like they'll just still saying put stuff it, i was still so put surprised it in profiles. Yeah. it's very interesting like sometimes they'll be like oh no offense but i'm only i'm not into like black guys and i'm not into asian guys like only into white guys etc so that's mm-hmm. kind of like a a little bit of a gay culture that that you might not appreciate on your apps or oh my god hetero apps. i feel like you guys have because i know when he started talking to me about stuff i had so many questions like i was so yeah. curious um, or even like something simple like, you know, like obviously we have like male and female roles in society So like, you know, when a guy asks you out, there's this general assumption that the guy pays, right? Oh my god, if he doesn't pay, girl But like, like I was asking him, I'm like, okay, well guy to guy, how does that work? And I remember asking another one of my friends, he's like, it's whoever whoever invites Or whoever, right, is that the right word? Whoever Puts out the invitation Puts or... out the invitation, generally it's accepted that that's the person that will mm-hmm. pay mm-hmm. I was like, that's so interesting But I mean, yeah. it totally makes sense But I just, I couldn't really figure it out on my own Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah It is very different, it's very different Oh my gosh, okay Yeah, and yet we're the same <laughs> Yeah Yeah, everything's the same um, And there was just one thing about, like, do you date Asian? I personally, okay, I know I said people usually don't come up to me On a regular basis, but like An Asian guy has never really approached me Like, I don't know what it what it is Sorry um, you know, I've asked people this before, and I, this may be like more personal. We'll see if I include this in the blog. But like mm-hmm. when I ask like people who are close to me, like friends or family, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'll talk about dating, and they're like, things that are suggested to me are very interesting. Like my mother was like, maybe you shouldn't wear makeup, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then my best friend was like, oh, maybe you should try like a different approach, and my brother was like, maybe you should wear color, and I'm just mm-hmm. sitting there thinking, these things are integral to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm the idea like things that people are suggesting. I mean, I think it's resting bitch face. Is the, I think it comes down I to feel, resting bitch I face. I feel like I look more pleasant now than I did when I was younger. <sighs> You're like I. Just, I don't know. How I mean, much more pleasant? Like to be completely honest, I think it's probably a little bit of resting bitch face. I mean, Jen doesn't like to smile. Like I try to get her to smile in photos. He did. She has like a good smile, but she, you know, I think it. Maybe because this is a kind of like from a male standpoint, like yes, if I see someone who's like giggling, like smiling, laughing, like I think I would be a little, I would feel more confident Comfort. coming into that situation, like talking to the person. But if I see someone who's like not, doesn't look like they're going to have it, I probably wouldn't. But, and not that you, not that you're thinking that, but yeah. like anyone who has a resting bitch face, you know the struggle. Like there's a struggle. Even people, even platonically, like people don't really talk to you, right? Unless you're like that giggly, bubbly person. Obviously, that could be a ruse. Obviously, a resting bitch face is not, you right, know, doesn't mean you're a right. bitch. Um, but I think it might come down to that. And maybe it's a little bit of the makeup. Like, you know, you like, like I think a cat wing liner is like more yeah, of like that's a, not, you it's know, like, it's not the most welcoming. It's like, yeah, it's not like right. kawaii, like bright eyed, you know. Yes. There are different ways you can do makeup. But I mean, that's you. Like, that's you're not going to change I do that. It. And I, it's like I don't do this for someone else. I right. do it because I that's, like it. So yeah, it's absolutely. very like, I'm like, oh, I don't, I'm not changing that. Right. And black, I am very committed to the all black. <laughs> Uniform. It's so easy, mm-hmm. and I'm I know sure that. And I and but sometimes I'll catch myself like if I'm ever like I don't know like on a family trip or like when it's like I don't know or vlogging. Sometimes I'll even notice it. I'm like, wow, yeah. black wearing all black really does create like mm-hmm. an, a barrier of like where it looks a little intimidating, mm-hmm. even though I'm like yes. yay tall. Mm-hmm. But what you can do, though, what can I do? If Tell. you find a man that you're into, right? Mm-hmm. So like you. You like you make eye contact. You okay. hold eye contact. You kind of like this. This I hate this because it like, goes but towards what gender just, roles. What if they think I just want to take them home though? Like that, I don't fine. want that. But, I mean, they'll oh, still talk to you. Fine. They'll still talk to you. I mean, do you not want to bring them home? <laughs> um, you know, make eye contact. Like maybe look down. Act a little bashful. I hate that. I hate that I'm saying that because it totally yeah, it plays into it plays that into idea gender of roles. how women should be. Have yeah. to be submissive, etc. But like I don't know. Sometimes you have to play the but game a little bit. But here's the thing, though. Like. In the initial parts of dating, of course I'm gonna like, I'm not gonna come across as like a a weak or vulnerable person. I feel like most people generally, regardless of gender, shouldn't really do that. But like, if I'm dating you, you are my world. Mm. So I think, and I think that's a very characteristic of Asian women, I think. Like we come across like dragon dragon ladies or whatever, like stronger personalities, hotter. I don't know if we have hot tempers though. Um, Sharon Wilson, what are your and Andrew's thoughts about older women dating younger men or young men liking older women? You go first. I love that. I think it's great. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> set, yeah, it says me. Um, I like I like I love the idea of that. I think that's awesome. 
we kind of had mentioned this, we like mentioned the question, but to me, I feel like more so than other relationships, there might be an expiration date on it. More so than an older, older man, man and a younger okay, woman. That makes sense. I think there's an expiration date on an older woman and a younger man. And I, th- I understand, like, I, you've dated 20 year olds, I've hung out with 20 year olds. It is, um, I don't know, you feel youthful, it's nice. It is nice. I think that they have a lot to offer you, you have a lot to offer them. Mm-hmm. I understand why there's an attraction right. there. But I just don't know, like when it comes down to settling down, right. you know, and I think there are men who are like comfortable with themselves and th- that's wonderful. I love mm-hmm. that. And because those relationships are like any other relationship, but I think with maybe pressures from society and mm-hmm. other things, family, etc., it's just, I don't know. Am I making that up? What do you guys no, think? No, no, I totally get that. Cause my feeling is like, just in my dating experience, guys in their 20s, and when I say 20s, I say like kind of like mid 20s. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're like 28, 29, you're, I'm rounding up, you're like mm-hmm. 30 to me. But like <laughs> 24, 25, 26, that's probably as young as I've gone. And mm-hmm. I feel like, first of all, I feel like initially there, and this is like with most guys, there's like this like wow phase where they're like, they're so eager. They're so eager and they're so like amazed by you. But then like I think after a couple weeks, definitely by a month, they're adjusted to it. Mm-hmm. And then, it loses its luster, mm-hmm. like the whole, from both sides mm-hmm. a little bit. And then, then you have to just make a choice. Mm-hmm. Now the choice should not be ghosting. The choice should <laughs> just be to say something. So this is the, this is, okay, let's just transition because ghosting, <laughs> transition to ghosting because I know there are boys and girls who are like, have been ghosted. And I know some of those boys and girls have also ghosted, mm-hmm. but Jen is completely anti-ghosting. Jen is very uh, upfront person. I am. Um, ghosting feels like shit. I'm sure it's mm-hmm. just. No, I haven't been dating long enough, but it's, mm-hmm. you know, what do you think? Yeah, ghosting. I will link a vlog below because I really, really went in depth on ghosting. And my mm. overall feel is ghosting is not necessary right. because That's you, true. and you should just, if, whatever the reason, here's the thing, before you ghost, mm-hmm. I don't even care if you make up a reason, give a reason and go, mm-hmm. okay? Because after you ghost mm-hmm. and you come back, because everyone that's ghosted me, <laughs> they come back acting like everything's amnesia. Is that what it so is? So maybe that's what they. Maybe that's why they ghost. They ghost so there's always an option. Is that why they ghost? I don't know. But you come back. Here's the thing. Once you hurt my feelings, closed. You can't yeah. come back. Nope. And, I'll, and if you do come back, I'm entertaining it for shits and giggles mm-hmm. because I want to see why you're coming back. Mm. I want to see. It probably just to fuck with you a little, mm. but. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't need to be someone who I was like really, really mm-hmm. into to, for you to come back and me be like, right. okay, no. Yeah, I was telling Jen, I was like, I need to ghost this dude before he ghosts me. Right. It's Take like, it's, back the power. Yeah. She was, she was saying, she was like, there are so many instances when like women. Yes, all the time. And we're gonna we're gonna direct us towards like heterosexual coupling, but like women kind of no. may, may perceive like something's going on, right. but then they just hold on to hope. hope. And Hold then we hope. kind of let the guy end things. Yeah. And I don't know, as for me personally, we need to take back that little bit of power because there's something about you ending it versus them ending it. Mm-hmm. When, pe- when someone else ends it, it you feel mm-hmm. like shit. Like you mm-hmm. feel dismissed, you feel like mm-hmm. you've been thrown out and you also you are like, well, how long have they felt this mm-hmm. way? Have I just been doing a lot of stuff in vain mm-hmm. and for, for no reason? Mm-hmm. So like, if I feel like as a woman, I have never been wrong about it. When I felt like something should be over, mm-hmm. it eventually was, whether I ended it or the other person ended mm-hmm. it, I've never been wrong. So I feel like you need to take back You know, you guys Mm. know what I'm saying? Like you end it, there's a little bit less of a (sighs) Mm. And that's why it kind of crushes me because it's like such a game. Like the way to not get hurt is to have more than one person hanging out with more than one person Exactly, it's so difficult, but you have to. It's so defensive. I feel like the game is so defensive. You gotta protect this thing. I know you have to because it's just so easy to get caught up into things. And that's the state of being right now. It's like there are, yeah, people are nice, but people Everyone's hurt nice. other people. Everyone's nice yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. So I really judge a person by how their, what their departure is like. Mm. I've had things where like didn't work out. And then at that point it doesn't even matter. Right, but like sometimes things could not work out, but the guy exits properly. Mm. So I can respect that. Yeah. And if you come back, that kind of person comes back, mm. that's acceptable, mm-hmm. you know? Because you, you have, some sort of respect for me as a person. Right, right. Okay, so where are we? Wow, we, that was not even a question. We just picked something to answer. <laughs> um, so this is a question from Elena Zadonovic. So Elena um, asks, 
how do you filter men on your apps? Mm -hmm. What are you looking for in a guy? What is really a no-no for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, like I said, my physical type, right now, now it's just hot. Yeah, hot, <laughs> So muscles, obviously you tattoos. have to find them. Yeah, see, and here's the thing. I mean, I really love me some muscles and tattoos. It's just really sexy. Um, and I feel like back in the day, oh my God, that's like a bad boy thing. But I feel like everyone has tattoos now. Like, not mm. everyone, but like, there's no stigma that like, there's, it suggests a certain personality mm. from a Or lifestyle. Or mm -hmm. lifestyle, because they have tattoos. Like, right. I feel, I really hope that that idea is like far gone. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you filter, uh, filter men physically? Oh yeah, mention that. I mean, yeah, we already kind of talked about that, but like the okay, physical but, attraction is very important. And if you watch my vlogs, you know I don't want you to have uh, fish photos holding mm. fish. I don't like it when you are hunting. It's very obvious that you hunt. <laughs> or if you even do hunt, if they're dead animals, like you're so proud of that's that right. irritates the crap out of me. People who show their children, I know that's like kind of a debated thing, but like I don't want to see. It's not safe. Mm. And or people who have kids but obviously are hiding it. Like, mm -hmm. if you're taking a picture and there's a car seat mm. in the back, or it's obvious that your photo is 10 years old. Sometimes people take pictures of photos and you can see the date on it, and it's hilarious. <laughs> oh God, It'd be like so 10 years ago, eight years ago. Terrible. I'm like, really? And here's my thing I don't care if what your pictures are, but when I see you in person, you better look like those pictures because I have had instances where, like, I was talking to a guy, I enjoyed it, and we meet, and I'm just like, these pictures are clearly eight years ago and 20 pounds heavier. Mm -hmm. So when I saw him, he was just, you know, much smaller, thinner in person. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care. And, I, mm -hmm. and this happens, I feel like, when guys are over the age of like 35, mm -hmm. they start making shit up yeah, I mean, to yeah. draw you in, but that's not right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. So that's a no no, it's like lying. Right. So, I mean, if you are older, like older as in like my mm -hmm. age or older, mm -hmm. and you have pictures mm -hmm. I don't care about your age you could be 40 but when right. I meet you you look like those pictures because that's my expectation because mm -hmm. I feel like they should just have rules nothing should be over a year old right and then you should have face picture full body picture what mm -hmm. else you next to something so I can gauge your height <laughs> if you're gonna lie about it <laughs> okay and then um, how long do you speak with a guy before you meet up about a week maybe weekish five days five five business days <laughs> Um, maybe a couple, well, probably once I met a guy, I, you guys probably saw it in a vlog, I just met a guy, I like, literally was like, we talked for like five minutes, but luckily he wasn't, I was going to say five minutes, wasn't, wasn't crazy, I was in a, I was in a weird, weird mood that day, I was like, oh, let's just go for it, mm -hmm. not, not really that safe, don't do I, that, I mean, about a week for the me. reality is, is it that unsafe, like, yes, I, I've heard of people right. like dying, being murdered, but that be smart about it, obviously, like, you're going to tell people where you're going, you're going to meet this person in a public setting, you're not going to go home with them that night, if you are going to go home with them, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, because like, oh, if you God. are going to go home with them, you need to gauge okay, it. You know what? It's a feeling. Thing. If you're going to go home with someone, you're adult enough to know how to protect yourself. Okay, because you should even, be. Because obviously, I'm coming from a standpoint where it's like the time frame is different than the time frame that Jen just mentioned. So, just, just. Uh, we are engaging in different activities. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, we are not. We are engaging in the same freaking activity. Uh, so that was a really great question, oh, Elena. It was. There, was there more and the rest question? was very, very sweet. She said, I love your mindset. The main reason I watch your vlogs is that you keep it real. She does keep it real. I um, absolutely. I wish I could keep it even more real. You guys are getting level five. I wish I could be even more transparent. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. YouTube, you can't it's just too stigmatizing. Can't do this. It is. Also, some of the people that I have gone out with may or may not watch these. And I don't, not that I, not that I, I would ever say anything bad about anyone, mm -hmm. but like, Mm -hmm. it, I just, it's public. I, for me, in a way, it's kind of unfair because sometimes when a guy offers their Instagram page, then I feel like I need to offer mine too, and then they find out I do YouTube, mm -hmm. and then it's like my videos aren't for people I want to date. Mm -hmm. They're for you guys, mm -hmm. and that's not not that this isn't a version of me. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like a true version, but like this is not the version I go about showing people in the beginning. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So I find it really a little unfair sometimes. But guys are getting catfish, and they need to know who you are. <laughs> So I think there's this one, there's like two, there's two here. Okay, so Andrew's off day asks, cut oh. or uncut? <laughs> cut or uncut? No, I'm kidding, we're not doing that question. No, we still I'm are. No, we're not, okay. So what are we, this one? I guess we're not, Andrew's my filter. If you guys want to know the answer to that, it's his fault. <laughs> I don't, she doesn't really have a preference, not, not like me. Okay, so what, where are we? Um, 
Okay, the the uh, the Nikki G, Nikki with Q's. Uh, how do you manage to cope on days when you feel lonely? If you do, M- meanwhile she just got super liked on Tinder. But oh, I'm super liked up the wazoo here. Um, <laughs> okay. So how do you manage to cope on days when you feel lonely? Because it's legit. That's okay, super real. So like with dating, you're going to expect. Generally, I. It, that. I don't feel lonely like on a regular basis, but it's like if something didn't work out recently, then I'll feel like not lonely, but I'll feel like disappointed or like. Oh my god, and I can feel it. I can feel it through text. When I, when, yeah. I can feel it through. Yeah, I can feel it through text. Like I won't say like, oh my god, something happened, but like he consented. I'm sure. Yeah. So, I ho- first thing is hopefully a friend. You know, like you, I'll text him or I'll text my friend or mm. like you know something. Like, ho- but sometimes that's just not enough. Mm-hmm. So you, I think you need to keep like an arsenal of friends with benefits around because sometimes <sighs> you just need you need to fill that void a little. Sometimes that's why we were just saying. Sometimes like the most the protected thing you can do is mm-hmm. to keep yourself open. Like do yeah. not cut yourself off yeah. to don't other get, options. Don't get don't get really sad. No. Don't like I I don't it's I know it's hard but like. Sorry, we were saying something. I got a phone call. Sorry. Okay, so like the other part, uh, coping mechanism. So oh. if friends with benefits, um, the other thing is to really, honestly, just be a bitch and focus on everything you didn't like about the person. Like mm-hmm. things that you were, because that's the only way. You don't focus on stuff that you liked about them because it's just gonna make you sad. Mm-hmm. So focus on things you didn't like. Now this is very funny them. because this, this, oh, sorry, this comes from two people who clearly we go to anger versus sadness, and that is different. Like everyone, everyone, you know, re- reacts differently to to that. Um, I understand people who do cry, whatever, like let it out. Yeah. But don't let yourself do that yeah. very long. I would say Move like cry. On. Yeah, you let the cry yeah. out. So I'm not you saying might don't cry. cry. Cry it out. You like, might cry, but one. we're going to be angry. You might be sad. Yeah. We're going to be angry, but don't stay in that. Don't right. stay in that yeah. place. Yeah. Well, um, I do cry. I'll cry, but I may, I do it because I know it'll make me feel better. Okay. So good. like I'll like let it out. It might yeah. not be like a big cry. I might cry for like three minutes mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then just get out of my system. Yeah. It's more like a... And at this point... In dating, it's more like it's not even about that person. Mm-hmm. No, it's a, no, no, it's no. really about you and right. like what the f- is wrong with me right, or right. like why is it like this mm-hmm. or like it's like I'm trying but I'm not trying and like, I'm not throwing myself at people. What can mm-hmm. I, like what can you do? Like right, right, right. what is the balance? Right. Um, and what was this, this one? Which is unsettling. That's just a weird feeling. And then uh, Alexa Bear, what is the? I love you, Alexa Bear. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve in a guy? And what is the most important trait to you in a guy? Um, much love. Yes, I love her so much. Uh, we important trait at this point, just honesty. It's like really hard. It is so hard to find. Um, and as for pet peeves, I don't know if there's a pet peeve of guy. I'm pretty easy, like, because I was talking to Andrew about. It. I'm like, what, what, like exactly is like a pet peeve specific to men? And he's like, you know, maybe leaving the toilet seat down or like, but those things like they don't really bother me. You want to mm-hmm. leave a dish in the sink? It, I feel like I'm mm-hmm. really because. I really think about do I want to have an argument about this right there's not really many things that I really want to have an argument about and it's also probably based on my experience you know like the way my marriage was I even when we were dating the things that we would have disagreements about or have to like you know get through it was never stuff like this it was like where are we going to live how mm-hmm. are our families gonna be mm-hmm. you know like how are we gonna raise our children what we I felt like what we were thinking about all the time was so heavy duty. I didn't care if he like left the toilet seat up or down. <laughs> I mm-hmm. didn't care if, you know, so, but the thing I do hate in general about people is open mouth chewing. I hate it. I, <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm making ASMR videos. Yeah, right, but like, <laughs> no, but Andrews isn't gross. No, but it was, that, 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 she, so she really is very easygoing. Like I understand. Right. And I, but I feel like guys don't think that. I think based on like my appearance, sometimes guys might think I'm more demanding or high maintenance, mm-hmm. but I'm like, I mean, generally, if you're watching this and things like that bother you, like, get over it. Like, there are bigger things mm. to th- care about, and to have worry a, about. Yeah. Right. If you want to really duke it out with whoever you're with, these are not the things. Right. Like, if you are just, like, having a bad day, mm-hmm. like, because one of my pet peeves was, like, like, the sponge in the sink. I hate when the sponge is in the sink. But I just throw away the sponge. Like, right. I'm not going to make, just don't make it a fight. Right. Like, life is too short. Mm-hmm. If you're with someone, you work, if you're working together, like, Find every reason not to fight. I mean, I think fights can be healthy, mm-hmm. but not over small things like this. Right. Like, 
But what are your pet peeves? I'm wondering what. Totally, yeah, because yeah. that's a good question. In that, please, like, answer, please, please feel free to answer these questions because Jen, like, since she's vlogged and I've appreciated this, like, I've seen it as well. Like, I, I knew her before she, her vlogs. I knew when she was thinking about doing vlogs, she yeah. started doing vlogs. Like, she feels so much more connected now. So, and I know that you guys are all replying. I love watching vlogs because I, I do the same thing. So, totally let her know. Let us know what what your answers are to these questions. Yeah, share all your thoughts below. And maybe whatever you guys say in the comments here, I can do like the next Q&A based on that. Well, maybe we'll do that. So every so often we'll return to these topics. And uh, I think that'll be good. That way I don't have to ask you guys for questions. We can just play off and mm -hmm. like kind of build. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do we want to end this vlog? Or how do we want to end this Q&A? Um, so that's it for the Q&A. That's the Q&A. Um, uh -huh. Thank you for your questions. I hope that was... Any mutual videos, any vlogs will all be linked below if they've mm -hmm. been uploaded regarding our time together. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed. I know you all have been loving getting to know Jen more. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have watched Jen. If you guys don't know who I am, I've, I'm just a fan. Um, <laughs> I've watched Jen for seven years. Yeah. I've watched her for seven years. So I understand. Um, I understand. Continue to engage her. Like she loves it. It's like so nice, and I know it's nice as a viewer as well. So, thank you so much for watching. Yes, um, love you. I thank you guys for all your questions. Yeah, and for watching and mm. for even just caring, which is totally awesome. Yeah, and uh, we will see you later. Okay, bye.